Live from Massachusetts. Here is your host, Stu Miniman. This is Stu Miniman with Wikibon.org with SiliconAngle.tv's coverage of the VTUG Fall Forward 2014. Talking to the users at this user group. Uh, joining me for this segment is Marcin Vashuk with Panagora Asset Management. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. All right, so we're talking about lots of different virtualization technologies. Uh, you, your part of the IT role is really to deal uh, a lot with uh, kind of the applications, mobility and the like. Tell us a little bit about uh, you know, your role and uh, your IT organization. Uh, well, I work for a small investment firm in Boston. Uh, we have 120 employees, about 16 um, um, IT staff. Four of those are system, system administrators, I'm one of them. Um, I focus mainly on virtualization Citrix security and and recently also uh, mobile data management. All right, yeah. C can you d paint a picture for us of what your IT environment is? My understanding is from a uh, virtualization hypervisor standpoint, you use VMware and you're using Citrix for a lot of the application delivery. Yes, we are a, uh, a vSphere shop version uh, five five currently. Um, looking forward to going to version six once it's released. Uh, we do have a uh, Citrix infrastructure which we use for. Um, for our users to allow them to remotely connect to the office and, uh, and be able to, to do their day-to-day uh, -day job um, from any location in the world. Yeah, uh, when, when we talk about uh, really, you know, Citrix environments and, and the users, uh, too many people have been stuck on, you know, just virtualizing the desktop when uh, really more people are looking at really virtualizing the data and the applications to get it to the, the users that are uh, mobile. Uh, can you talk a little bit about what BYOD means to your environment and what, uh, you know, what applications and data are you pushing to uh, the end users in your environment? Well, the BYOD in our environment means that uh, we allow users to um, bring their own uh, laptops, bring their own tablets, their own phones, connect them to our infrastructure and access applications that are hosted on our network. Um, that's about that's about it. All right, so so Martin, you've you've been you've been at the company for 14 years. C can you talk talk the last few years? You know what wh what's changed in the mobile environment, uh, your, your your user environment. Uh, what what's putting stress on the IT environment, and where are you guys really helping the business move forward? As far as the uh, the mobile environment, the BYOD environment, uh, the biggest challenge for us is to sort of uh, uh, get a hand on how many devices are connecting to our network what types of devices going through our network, what those devices are doing. So we're trying to um, lock down certain types of access. We're trying to control what users can and cannot do uh, on our network with their own devices. All right, so yeah, how, how much do you need to lock down in that environment? Uh, do most of your users carry around two devices, one for all of the work stuff that has financial stuff and a separate one for personal, or how do you manage that, that interaction? For the most part, um, these are all user devices, and like the biggest challenge is to make sure that those devices are not um, jailbroken in the case of Apple devices or rooted in, in the case of um, Android devices, because if once something is rooted, you don't know if there's some kind of a rogue process running on that device that could be accessing our data and possibly stealing information. All right, C can you talk about how uh, th uh, really cloud-enabled apps, uh, SaaS environment, uh, interacts with your environment? Are, are, are you using uh, things like Salesforce and Box and Dropbox and the like, or is, is, is that separate? Uh, we used to use Dropbox, but now we have an in-house um, in -house area for, uh, for files and, and, and documents, and that's all done through the uh, MDM application, okay. which is the, uh, the AirWatch that we just uh, released recently. Yeah, uh, so you can talk a little bit about your, your AirWatch experience. That was one of the bigger acquisitions uh, VMware's made uh, in the last you know, year. Um, you know, how, how does that fit into your overall environment, interact with things like your VMware and Citrix environments today? Um, it doesn't as much uh, interact as much with VMware and, and Citrix. Um, this is mainly to manage mobile devices. It's been a great addition. It's been also a great challenge for us, uh, mainly with the uh, user community. A lot of the users are very uncomfortable with letting us control their devices, so we had to come up with a set of policies 
um, outlining exactly what we will and will not control on those devices. And uh, we still have quite a few users that need to convert over to AirWatch, but we're, we're getting there. So, so Martin, uh, one of the great things about a user conference like this is you get to talk to your peers, find out what they're doing. Uh, can, can you share either something that you've come here to kind of share some experience in and learn a little bit or uh, what you're hoping to learn fr from the event? Um, well, this is my, my probably my fourth or fifth um, DTAG that I've been to. Um, this year I came in looking for more, more information on uh, Bistro 6. Um, I came in to look, look for more, for more, more information for about uh, BCP and disaster recovery, and I'm also here to kind of reconnect with some of the, uh, some of the vendors. All right. Well, really appreciate you uh, coming to talk with us, uh, share your experiences. Always love talking to users. Uh, this is Stu Miniman with uh, wikibond.org. Uh, check out all the coverage we have from uh, this and uh, previous VTUGs, lots of virtualization and cloud content uh, throughout the, the Cube, Wikibond, and SiliconANGLE networks.